this is a demonstration of uh, the converted script to the Titan 1. Um, it's a simplified version of the Titan 2 um, dead zone and anti dead zone script. Uh, this is going to be showing the difference of resolution. Uh, the Titan 1 has a resolution of negative 100 to 100, so that affects uh, some of the um, precision of the lower inputs. Uh, and I'm going to be demonstrating this. Um, through the device monitor at the bottom, we can see the numbers and um, the anti-micro overlay for the safe zone is showing the distance. So um, the normal input will be uh, just like this and the changed input will be uh, by pressing the left trigger. Uh, that's the right stick alternate settings. So I'm using a pretty dramatic uh, anti-dead zone of 50. So uh, you can see this is the normal input and when I hold down the left trigger um, the anti-dead zone applies. So this is 50% um, anti-circular dead zone right now. Uh, but you'll see with very small inputs, uh, let me... Uh, you can see if I just move 1% um, over, it moves to 50, which is expected. Um, and then if I move straight up, it'll move uh, to 50 as well. If I get it, yeah. But if I move diagonally, uh, you'll see uh, that it moves to the position 50-50, which actually gets you a 70%. And uh, this is just because those are the only values that I've currently access to. So if you want to use a 0% dead zone with a um, anti-circle dead zone of 50, uh, this is um, the shape it's going to make. It's going to make a square, so that you're actually skipping over some values. And then it corrects itself a bit the further you move out. Um, but if we uh, increase the dead zone by a bit, let's bring it up to 2, um, since you have more values to work with, um, so let me uh, see, um, nothing happens at 2 because I've broken out of the dead zone, and then at 3, you break out of the dead zone. Um, and then you can see the uh, shape is a little better translated since there's more values to work with. But you are only having a few points that are uh, expanded to this 50% region. Uh, then if we increase the dead zone a little further, let's do 4, um, you can see that the shape is just increasingly uh, circular because there are more um, uh, values to work with and values to be applied and uh, as we increase the dead zone size since there's more values um, being used uh, this becomes increasingly smoother so you can see that there's enough values at a 10% um, dead zone to reasonably uh, make a smooth circular shape uh, so it's because of this, um, it's about at a 3% dead zone where that kind of corner becomes um, a little more reliable. So uh, you can see there, uh, I'm trying to find the, the perfect diagonal. You can see the diagonal is a little more accurate. So this is the kind of shapes you'll see um, made with a resolution at this uh, size. And of course the rest of the stick uh, becomes increasingly smooth, so you can see there's no kind of jitter at larger movements, it's just only with very small dead zones where you'll see this. So uh, just use dead zones of 3 and you can get, um, you can start getting uh, smoother uh, circle shapes uh, in the larger dead zone you use, and of course, um, see, this is the normal input again, and this is uh, the anti-dead zone applied, or with the settings applied, normal input, settings applied. And of course this is like for the first like few percent is where you see this, like once you start making a uh, little larger movements, uh, it's going to increasingly smooth out. It's just uh, the smallest movements uh, you need to worry about. So, but. I think at a minimum, a uh, 3% dead zone should be used.